The Isles of Scilly is a group of over 50 islands just beyond 20 miles south of Land's End, and although only five are inhabited by people, each and every one is rich in wildlife. Such as Tresco, with its recently reintroduced red squirrel which hops from tree to tree, gathering hazelnuts from the feeding stations, which not only it eats, but also uses to sharpen its teeth. This specific island is called Briar, which is the smallest of the inhabited islands, but it still has a huge range of landscape. You could be on a fairly calm beach like this one, or you could be on the exposed, rugged heathland. My time on Briar was spent mainly on observing these short grey birds, sandlings. At low tide they scuttle around the sandy beaches like clockwork toys, hurriedly piping in the ground. They do this to make the most of the wet sand when it's soft enough for their bills to penetrate, and with multiple jabs per second they sweep across the shore, consuming hundreds of tiny invertebrae from the top three centimetres of the shore level. They can continue to do this for as long as the tide is low enough, often a couple of hours. I'm lucky enough to visit the Isles of Scilly every year, and each time I go there I'm amazed by the amount of species you can find there. I would love to present Cairngorm's nature because it would be a chance for me to see an equally diverse area full of completely different animals and plants and share with others my passion for the natural world.